hello guys welcome back to my channel structures pro today we'll be doing a base plate connection in the previous classes we have done a welded connection moment connection share connection and today i want us to do base plate connection so before we can do base plate connection this stiffener here we we must we must delete it otherwise our base plate connection will not work we have to delete then after that we analyze the structure again that means we go back to our analytical phase then we analyze While we are waiting for the analysis result to come out, I want to use this opportunity to still beg you to subscribe to my channel. If you are enjoying this tutorial, enjoying the class, please do well to subscribe, like and share and comment. Yeah, thank you. Okay, the, the, the analysis is done. So we go back to um, connection design. We select this node. Let's select my node also. We select this node and click smart design. Still the same code. Then from here, I'll select base plate. Base plate. Then uh, what type of is it pinned, fixed, I will use this fixed both axis, say ok, that's good, you can see it's, uh, it shows green, fixed uniaxial base plate shear and moment connection that's very good so if i edit it just to see you see um, the pedestal is massive i need to reduce um okay so from here i will just modify quickly modify quickly pressure distribution uniform um steel design code yes concrete design code yes seismic provision bearing steel calculation okay optimize criteria uh, maximum thickness for plate um, minimum thickness thickness increment Okay. Maximum thickness we use eight. Let me use six here. Let me use one of the two. Optimize transverse based with dimension. Optimize anchor diameter. Minimize effective embedment depth. I will make my embedment depth 550 or more self. Column type, column section material, base plate shape rectangular. If I choose circular. How would it look like? Hey, <laughs> see how it, see how it looks like. It's funny. Some base plates are actually like that. So I will choose rectangular. 
and you notice when I choose circular, the color even you know, the, the whole design field or it can be modified and we get it right but I don't want to say circular base plate okay and longitudinal dimension so my pedestal is uh, 500 so my base plate are 550 my yes pedestal is 500 I will make my base plate 400 make it 400 400 by 400 yes the thickness um my thickness you may use 20 mm material column weld column weld size 6 mm yeah. pedestal dimension of pedestal transverse dimension thickness so my pedestal is 500 by 500 that's good then uh, remember my pedestal in the foundation design i used 1500 that's good see my design has taken shape now it's very looking very very okay that's good that's good okay then the boot Copper row, row number per side. If I put two here, what happen? It has added more plates and reduced our utilization ratio. So this thing is asking for actually more, more, more boots. But I, let me see if I can reduce the spacing you can as well choose a j-boot when you choose a j-boot see how it looks like or l-boot yeah so depends on which one effective embedment depth for the boot I use 550 makes it longer yeah okay material cracked concrete brittle steel type of reinforcement tension reinforcement shear reinforcement okay so this edge distance I will uh, increase. I know once I, I reduce it, the distance between boats is going to bring down my utilization ratio, which is very, very okay now. I love it at 0, at 0 0.8. So, this is perfect for me. This is my base plate design. When you go to results, see everything very very okay so you, our uc ratio is 0 0.82 global yeah you see now 0 0.772 0 0.82 minor axis major axis does that this is all for base plate connection. So we end here. Um, this one is the DXF AutoCAD 
you if you check see the drawing already done just take it to autocad environment and uh, and clean them up you know this thing drawn to scale just clean them up see the boat detail 550 embedment depth see the anchorage the total overall depth see the head very wonderful it's with a start pro connect that pro connect does everything the importance of this software can never be overemphasized you you model with it any type of structure whether steel or concrete if it is concrete after analysis you take it to rcdc rcdc helps you to design concrete members perfectly well and brings out the detailed drawings autocad detailed drawings in autocad format it is very beautiful it finishes work you have a lot of things to learn in this channel all i need you to do is stay tuned subscribe if you have not subscribed like share i'm i'm going to show you a whole lot of things about this software and other software like autocad revit i am i have a lot to dish out so just subscribe encourage me with your subscription subscribe give me a comment make a request and i am ready for for you i'm ready to answer to your comment i'm ready to fulfill any requests that might come from any of you wonderful subscribers of mine just stay tuned and as you do that we we'll keep learning together thank you very much so this is the autocad autocad version of which you can take this into autocad the environment and clean it up see the joints already done already done and labeled everything neat okay we we'll end here today thank you very much see you next time